Oh, shoot. Oh, let's get back a little ways. I don't want to get trapped in there. Oh, shoot. Hey, welcome back, everybody. The Accidental Survivor here. We're back with another episode of Survive the Nights. And, uh... Start off here in my base. It's like 11 in the morning, but um, I like I like logging into my base because it means there's no zombies, and I can do what I need to do, which is get the ammo that I need. Wow, 45 rounds. That's freaking awesome. What is this? Fuel pump. Don't need that. Don't need a circuit breaker. A jerry can. Uh, I think I'm okay on that. What the hell is this? The one metal pipe. Check all, yeah. Look at that, another freaking cooking pot. I'm not. I got two cooking pots, so I'm I'm good right now. Seven round. I need I need that ammo. Hammer, 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 hammer. I need to go to the airport, and I need to uh, give me a supply of freaking weapons and ammo and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, let me move that 18 gauge over, just because I'm not carrying any of that right now on me. Uh, man, I still got six raw deer meat. Okay, let's see. Three scrap metal, eight wood. My weight's still pretty low, so I'm going to... I'll put the 18 gauge in there, but I'll leave everything else alone. And I, like I said, I cannot help but check these rooms. Is that, is that a metal pipe again? Yep, another one. I got to repair all these uh, barricades. I want to fight the horde again at this location. 45 rounds, you know, that's kind of nice. I'll take advantage. What the hell? I do want to fight the horde again here, um, but I'm going to need to build a lot more barricades. These, I pretty much, I think I fixed them all. Yeah, they're 140. What's this one at? 140. Yeah, all the barricades have been repaired. The ones that didn't get destroyed, I repaired. But let's go check upstairs, and I think all these fireplaces I've refilled. Uh, for the most part. Let's see, uh... Okay, I'll do that, because I know I'm going to pick up more firewood here shortly. That's 140. What the hell? Okay, 140. Drill. Wow, there's a lot... There's some good stuff in here, but I'm not going to take any of that. Wait, is that a, uh... A Haspen staple. Um, it's 1.2 pounds. I'll take it, though. I'll put it in that. I, have a, I think I have a locker up here. Was it? There's something on the floor. Well, that's a... That's the computer. Okay. That's kind of neat. Is that a light bulb? Yeah, I want to I wanna fight the horde again. And this time with the generator going... So I can see what I'm doing. But it's going to be a little while. It's obviously not going to be today or this episode. I've got a lot of stuff I need to build. And I'm not going to make you watch me build all that stuff. Let's see. What's the... Uh, I got 18 of 20. Uh, but I want to put in here... Man, what did I pick up that I don't want on me? Um, uh, I just picked... Oh, the, the Haspen staple. Let's move that over there. Okay. Oops. Okay, that's pretty much uh, every room. These these ones don't have anything in them. Yeah, they're just empty. Okay, let's get back downstairs. Get back outside. It, it is like 11 o'clock in the, in the morning game time. So I don't... Uh, I know it's going to get... Be getting dark here shortly. Dude, open the freaking door. It's snowing out. All right, let's get. Uh, yep, already got two wood back. Awesome. And what? Is, what is my? See what I'm? What I'm? See, I got 84 rounds for this weapon. And I got I got a lot for the Clinchester. I'm good for that. I'm good for that. <laughs> my knife. That's stupid. Um, yeah, the Clinchester. Um, what I want to do... Oh, I need a Clinchester. Damn it. No, 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 no. Wrong weapon. Here we go. I'm going to use up some of this ammo. Let 
Another wood. There's a car. That wasn't there before. Let me check the back. Okay. Nothing in the back. Oh, I still got my headlamp on. Can't take any gas. Did I need I need the carburetor. Yeah, let me take that. I think I took one out of JB's vehicle. Or I took one out of mine to put in the generator. Okay. God, there's so many freaking zombies here. Holy crap. Damn it. I know there's more in here. These doors are all locked right now, so I'm okay there. Oh, shoot. Right, let's get back a little ways. I don't want to get trapped in there. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't be coming in here because I got my hunting rifle on me. If I die, I will lose that. Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's get... Let me get the hell out of here before I freaking get killed. Oh, I think they're all up on the roof. Maybe. There's a lot in here. I do know that. And I don't mind coming in here alone. But like I said, I got the hunting rifle on me. If I die, this is a nightmare level of difficulty. And I will lose everything that I've got on me. will go away like I never had it. And I'll start off, start off all over again. Um, I can still come back to my base and open up my lockers and all that stuff. But um, And I can get anything I have in me or on me and that was in my locker. I can get that back. But uh, anything that's in my person will be gone. There is no death bag to go pick up. It's just... You're dead and everything you have disappears. So, uh, yeah, there's no there's no body to go back to. So, it is, uh, what time is it? See, it's already 2 p.m. in the game. Um, I'm probably not going to spend the night. I'm probably going to just log out and log back in. Um, but, uh, oh, I can't, oh, the trick-or-treating stuff is gone. I would say maybe I can do another trick-or-treating. Because that was, that was neat getting those... Damn, dude. <laughs> Look at that dude. <laughs> I thought he was going to push that guy out of the way and he didn't really do anything. Man, I got 96 health? Holy crap. Some more ammo. See, I got, I got lots of 306, uh, the 308 rounds for the Clinchester, so that's why I'm, I'm kind of utilizing that weapon here. Let me build up my shotgun ammo. I'll take 45. Yeah, one, <laughs> one round. Compass. Okay. Uh, let me take that because I'm gonna probably need to replace my batteries. Okay. All right. It is. It's getting a little bit late. What I'm going to do today? Let me see. I kind of want to go down here and explore Black Rock a little bit. There's a there's a bunch of warehouses and stuff. Um, and that's way down there. Let me get my vehicle. So I'm going to take the vehicle. But before I do that, man, all Halloween stuff is over. Damn. You know the trick or treating stuff. Let's not alert them. Uh, real quick, right here, I'm going to get out my campfire. Do, 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 do. Where are we at? You know, I might just log out. I don't know. So, yeah, we'll do that. 
And uh, let me see, is this JB's vehicle? Yeah, he's got all the stuff in here. Let me get in this vehicle. I'm not going to take this one, but I'm going to put my small engine carburetor back. There we go, the one I just found. And I'll move some gas into it. <laughs> okay, and I'll put that behind a locked door. Awesome. And I'll take this one. I'll take JB's uh, little dirt ball vehicle. It's got 30 some percent. Damn. I should really take my hunting rifle out of my inventory. I don't need it right now. I may put it in the back of the vehicle. When I get down to here. Because like I said, if I die, I I'll lose that. But I've, I've not really explored Black Rock all that much. Not even in previous series that I've done. Whoa, whoa. But I think we're going to go and we're going to do a... Um, we're going to do a loot gather. I'm going to try to get a bunch of firewood, a bunch of uh, scrap metal. And I'll use that to build the bear. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on. Stop. Let me check this vehicle out. Damn. Okay. What the heck? Oh, spark plug. I can search this bag. A clean cloth. There we go. Two scrap metal. You know, stuff like this. Uh, I can get scrap metal here. Oh, an MRE. I'll take that. What is in this pile? A wood. Oh, there's a path. That was one of the, uh, the quest items. So what I'm going to do is in the back of this vehicle, which are, I think there's a lot in here, yeah. Holy crap, it's 47 of 50. Oh, my God. Okay. It's not going to let me do what I want because this is already kind of full. Um, I'll take the lock kit out. Dude, look at all this crap in here. He's got six pro paint or six scrap metal. Let me take that scrap metal out too. Two draw knives. <laughs> Look at all the nine mil rounds. Dude, JB, what were you picking up? Look at all these nine mil rounds. Take the 45s. All right, those are 44. Um, okay, I'm still going to do what I was going to do. Um, what time of the day is it? 4 p.m. You get in the vehicle. I'm still going to come down here. Um, what I think I'm going to do out my base, because every time I go back to it, there's zombies in there. And I don't know why that schoolhouse does that, but other cabins and stuff like that on the mainland don't do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take pick all those barricades up and put them in a locker. Hold on. I just see all these vehicles. I want to check them out. Okay. I'll take your little bit of gas. Take care of these guys. Oh, shoot. Dude, he came out of nowhere. I know there's probably one down here. In here. Was that it? I thought there'd be more of them in here. Bolts, bolts. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, let's check upstairs really quick. Nothing. Well, those those are screws, aren't they? Yeah, I'm gonna leave the screws and stuff. I've got I've got a, I've got a lot of all that stuff. And even though, I mean, some of these boxes have 500 screws, you know, and they can really weigh me down. If I take too many, no, I don't want that. I'll take the batteries. 
And no. Anyway, while we're in here looking around, I want to remind everybody, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. That would help me out, and it would help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal, which uh, I'm getting closer to every day. And uh, please join my Discord, because if you're, especially if you're a subscriber, you know, you want to be on my Discord, because once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away three different prizes, and it'll be giving away to those on my Discord uh, three prizes to three different people. And you could win either a free T-shirt from my merch store, a $25 Steam gift card, or three months of free YouTube premium. Uh, but it's going to be on my Discord that I'm going to give that away. So uh, uh, please join that so we can get get you get you the uh, the prizes you deserve. I don't want to craft. Headlamps at 20. Let's spruce that up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump out of the game right here. Uh, but I'll, I'll return as soon as it's morning. But uh, I don't want to spend the whole night, and uh, I'm not going to make you wait with me through the night. So I'll uh, log back out, and I'll log back in shortly, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, we are back. Uh, it's no longer morning, but I do have a big uh, a change that apparently happened. In the, in the time that I recorded the first half of this episode and the second half of this episode, there was an update. And uh, part of the changes to this update was they spawned in like like used car lots and stuff and they've made uh, some of these things a little bit easier uh, they've made vehicles easier to find easier to to acquire so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna jump down Oop, get in the vehicle dude I'm gonna go back the direction I came oh my god dude can you start the freaking car oh my god Come on, man. Dude, that's ridiculous. Okay, let me, um... It shouldn't take me more than a couple times to start this damn thing. Uh, let me check this car really quick right here. Get out. Yeah, you can see there's more parts and stuff in them. I'll take your gas. Get in. Um, but yeah, they, they've updated a few of the items in here. Um, we're on version uh, 1.11.5. And like I said, this this just came out in between. And again, I didn't play right away. I didn't wait till morning and then log back in. I waited like two days before, uh, you know, logging in to complete the second half of this episode. And uh, I want to see what this used car lot looks like because this is a new change to the map. And I drove through here and there wasn't, what the hell? There wasn't one here, but apparently now there is. Here it is right here. Look at that. <laughs> There's the used car lot. So I guess if you need a vehicle, and these are all over the map. These are not just, you know, they're not just right here. There's places all over the map that have these... Uh, these car lots. So if you need a vehicle, I guess I'm scrap metal. Uh, you can come in here and see what they got. And look at these things; they're almost ready to go. I'm gonna take the gas, though. So. Yeah, with a couple more parts, and you may even be able to find enough parts um, amongst the vehicles in this lot to to piece it together. The goal behind this, oh shoot, was to allow players to get on the road quicker. Than having to run, you know, like I was doing, like episode after episode, trying to find car parts and stuff. Now you can have a good chance of, uh, you know, within the first day or so, or you know, with, within early access, if you playing to get a uh, vehicle going. Oh come on, dude! What is my health at? Eighty-seven. Now the thing about it. Also, you know, the Clinchester. Damn. The thing about it also, oh, they uh, they made a few other changes, like an alternator. So if you couldn't find an alternator in the vehicle, <laughs> they got one over here, too. Fourteen liters of fuel. I'll take some scrap metal. 
Um, they got Jeeps and everything over here. That's kind of neat. I got my jerry can filled. Yep, 20 liters. Thank you. Thank you, used car lot. And uh, what, is, what does that sign say? I want to see what that says. Oh, of course. Black Island impound lot. <laughs> That's an impound lot. All right. Let me, um, you know, I need to, I need to eat because uh, I'm probably going to, my health is low. I'm probably going to try to spend the night. Uh, let me just do it right here. Screw it. I don't need to go inside a house for that. Um, I'm probably going to spend the night, even though I left or logged out. You know, uh, to avoid spending the night, now I've got to do it because my health is low. I want to get my health back without having to use bandages and crap. Plus, I'm thirsty. Uh, yeah, I'm at 46. Uh, can canteens, like I was finding canteens all over the place. I got four of them on me. Those no longer spawn in. You will never find a canteen on the ground. You're going to have to make one. Uh, that's one of the new changes. Let's put that down. I got uh, Mudden online. He's uh, also playing right now. I'm not sure where he is. Uh, let me place my large cooking pot on here. It's 1,200. What does this one got? Let's, fit, let's take this one back. Oh, crap. I, I screwed that up. I wish you could see, again, the cooking pots and which one had which in it before you put it on the ground. Come on, man. Okay. Let me see. I still got more deer meat. Let me tr let me put some of this in here. Oh, I can stew it now. Oh, that's awesome. It wouldn't let you do that before. Yeah, I can see the total. That's awesome. They changed it. All right, fifteen thousand. I'll let that cook up. And I'm not sure where he is on the map, but uh, he doesn't have a microphone. So, uh, Mudden, if you're watching this episode. You want to get you want to try to get a, uh, a headset or a microphone so that we can talk because I'd be more than happy to have you uh, link up with me at one point or another and help me fight a horde or do stuff like that go to the prison because uh, you know like I said JB's uh, he's gonna be getting more and more scarce to play with will not be as easily and most of these I'm gonna be doing probably alone there we go got my health back so let's take that, let's take that, turn this off, pick that back up. Still good, still got eight. Okay, um, what do we have in the back here? Let me move some of that, uh, I got 44, oh my god. Well, I got 42 wood in a stack, that's awesome. What about scrap metal? 21! Let me move some of this over. Where's the scrap metal? I just want to make sure I'm not... Uh, okay, I got 11. I, I don't know how much uh, those can go into a stack. Twenty-one, nice. So I can get. Uh, oh man, almost left my freaking cooking pot away. Time of the day is it? Yeah, look at it. Look at it. it's already getting five p.m. So I'm probably gonna spend a night on a rock. Man, I'll, I tell you what, I, I kind of want to spend the night here to, to watch them blow up all these cars in the parking lot when the when the horde comes. So that'll be interesting. Oh, let's take care of these guys. Get over here. Wow. Oh my god. I'll say they weren't even moving. They were just like kind of chilling. This looks a little different. I don't remember it being like this. Ooh, there we go. More. I'll need some more headlamp batteries. Can always use those. I'll take some more gauze pad -ish stuff. A oh, propane tank. Let me take that. I'm going to throw that in the back of the vehicle.
Okay. We're getting more shotgun shell. Now, look, here's a canty. I just got done telling you that that stuff's not... It said it, it's, it said in the updates, the update notes, that canteens would no longer spawn in. That led me to believe you won't be able to find them. But it looks like uh, we found some. So let me get... Uh, let me get that um, heavy propane tank moved over. Actually, you know what I need to do? Let me let me take those two propane tanks. Let me take this one. Where's the other one? And this one. Okay. Now, let's do this. Let's drop that one. Where's the other one? Come on. Where's the other propane tank? Did I not pick up the other propane tank? I gotta hurry up. I swear to God, I picked up two propane tanks. One had 11. This one's got 16. Okay. Dude, where'd the other one go? I just lost a propane tank? Okay, let me do this. Okay, now, if I open up this... Uh, oh, I can't do it. Okay. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, now it's got 20 and 13. What the hell? Dude, what happened? 20 and 13. I had 6 and 11. Or 16 and 11. Okay, I'm not complaining. Let's get in the vehicle. I need to move this out of the way. I don't want this to blow up. Okay, let's get up here onto this um, this rock by the uh, impound lot because I want to watch the horde come in and maybe blow up these cars that are in here. That'll be awesome. Hopefully they don't blow my car up. I should be far enough away. I hope. Yeah, it's kind of far down there. That's 7 p.m. Come on, man. Yeah, I thought by putting those two propane tanks, like, side by side, I'd be able to uh, take fuel from one and put it in the other. If I had a propane fire trap, I could do that. Uh, let's get my campfire down here. Okay, we'll get some light going, and uh, we're going to sit here and wait for the horde. Now, they also changed the... Uh, this is not supposed to be as bright, I guess, as it used to used to be. I don't know. I could be wrong too. But uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and wait here and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. It's, um, it's 5 a.m. It, it's almost morning. The horde is going away. Uh, the, the, the sound from the horde is getting fainter and fainter. And they didn't blow up a single car, not even the ones in this uh, lot next to me, which is fine because I was kind of worried about my car getting blown up. Uh, what I'm going to do is put this out, and I'm going to take that. Man, there's two wood left. And uh, we're going to have our normal stragglers come up and uh, mess with me here as we get closer to dawn. But like I said, it's uh, it's 5 a.m. Mo morning time is official at 7 a.m., I believe. And uh, so I'm not going to jump down here just yet because <laughs> I don't want the horde coming at me. But we are getting close. Still five. Nothing blew up. Nothing happened. So, yeah, it was just kind of a... Uh, now, I'm wondering, this whole time I was up here, uh, that that building that I went inside, when I went inside that uh, impound lot, I was thinking, you know, if I can get up on top of that building, 
they would come and uh, blow those cars up. But I, I, I may be close enough where I might take damage, though, if that happened. Oh, Mudden just replied. He said he's uh, he's in Black Rock, which is just uh, to the south here. Wow. Okay, the day has ended and uh, got another night survived. Let's get my uh, let's get my gun out. Put that torch away. Nice. Okay. So they didn't blow up any of the cars, which is fine. I mean that means they also didn't blow up mine. I see a zombie out here already. I think I hit him. Yep, that one. <laughs> I think it just made him mad. He's still not coming at me. Oh, he's dead. Man, I got a blood splatter on the wall. Crap. I don't mind using the 45. I've got tons of ammo for that. But, you know, <clears throat> since I killed all these guys, I'm pretty sure I searched this house already, and there's nothing new. But I'll take a look inside real quick. Crap. You know, there's nothing new. Just more zombies for me to shoot. Okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I think I think that's going to do it, though, for this episode. Um, we did get that new update. I'm going to have more to explore shortly. So uh, stick around for the next episode. And it will get. I got 21 scrap metal. That's awesome. I do have a jerry can. You know, let me swap that jerry can. Where's my jerry can? Let's move that in here. And let's take the other one. There we go. Anyway, I got a full tank, uh, or full gas can in my vehicle. We got deer up there. Good to go. Survived another night. But uh, I do want to thank you for taking the time to watch. Stick around for the next episode. Like I said, it'll be a little bit more exciting than this one, I promise. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.